пока одни заходят и другие выходят, начнем с того, что напомним нашим уважаемым слушателям предысторию вопроса, о котором мы сейчас будем говорить. У нас очень похожие истории о том, как все начиналось, а именно как начиналось преподавательство и рассмотрение вопроса улучшения подготовки переводчиков. Мы обои являемся директорами переводческих компаний, с одной стороны, и мы также as CEOs of uh, translation companies, uh, we both uh, and we were both uh, teach in universities and we know uh, on the uh, problems of uh, translation translators tra translate training uh, both as uh, candidates and uh, uh, and uh, by t to uh, both as candidates to our uh, both as potential employees and also By, uh, as uh, our students, uh, you, uh, so we are insiders. We have insider experience. Uh, we also you also have uh, your your experience, and we, uh, you, you remember that after our uh, after our joint uh, um, presentation at the UZIC, uh, we started working on this problem together, and I think we have started working on this um, in a deeper and uh, more uh, meaningful way. On May uh, 18, uh, last past year, our uh, joint uh, presentation became a, um, became the starting point for the Vox Translatorium group that uh, brings together professionals who are uh, who uh, want to change something about this uh, industry. And this uh, words became our mission because uh, more and more people join uh, us who uh, are not. Uh, who care about uh, what's happening in the industry uh, because we start uh, uh, because we start uh, celebrating the new, uh, uh, greeting in the welcoming the new year with uh, the Vox Translatorium it makes sense to remember the plans that we had a year ago the desires that we had a year ago And uh, metaphorically speaking, what kind of uh, wishes we had for to uh, uh, what kind of letters we wrote to Santa Cla Santa Claus and what we wrote on uh, what we uh, 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 first of all uh, you, uh, we offered to, to uh, develop a, a stay standard uh, in the specialty called uh, uh, translation theory and uh, when talking with uh, after talking with Uh, prof university professors both in, in Ukraine and in other countries where such uh, standards exist, uh, we uh, felt that this is not the uh, goal unto itself and the existence of a state standard uh, in itself will not improve the uh, training of translators and interpreters. Uh, we did not uh, focus on that. Therefore, the next uh, uh, point was to um, make uh, the courses uh, in, in, in uh, that teach uh, cat, uh, cats Uh, the use of CAD tools um, deeper and more detailed. This uh, proved to be relevant, and even though we uh, can teach students to work with the program within a couple of hours, we uh, it does take time when we want to take a systemic approach. Speaking about uh, re uh, editing, uh, some universities offer such courses, but this is quite rare. But, and we wish uh, that uh, our wish is that not uh, it's not only editors, but also those who want study to be translated and uh, can t study uh, these courses. We thought it uh, uh, appropriate to also introduce uh, courses on management of uh, translation projects because we as company CEOs feel very well that there are, there are no uh, trained specialists in this uh, area. And this idea is uh, very broadly supported by representatives of universities and they uh, support the introduction of such courses uh, just like courses on uh, so, so, so to say professional 
adaptation of translators, uh, meaning the courses that would tell uh, what the uh, about, about the essence of uh, translate, uh, translation and interpreting business. Because we know that uh, the students who uh, graduate, uh, university graduates, uh, did not uh, get uh, did have a good idea of uh, how this uh, of what this profession is about, and the idea was to involve the uh, professionals uh, in. Uh, in cooperation with universities and to uh, improve, improve the existing situation in the universities. And uh, uh, these were, this was how our New Year wishes looked. And the question is, uh, of which, uh, uh, what uh, uh, gifts uh, did uh, uh, Santa Claus bring us? Actually, uh, we uh, re uh, obtained, we achieved everything that we planned. We have a, a success story on each uh, our item uh, uh, regarding the imp uh, implementation of uh, what we wished, uh, meaning that we got everything we, uh, we wanted to get. Uh, what examples of uh, professional orientation courses for translators? Uh, for many, uh, we uh, were doing that for many years, and we continue to uh, distri uh, to uh, disperse to um, uh, this, uh, to expand these practices uh, on the uh, CAT tools, uh, the translator uh, translation editing, and uh, we can also be proud of the fact that the number of uh, of the number of uh, uh, the players in the industry who are, are who have we involved, uh, have we engaged in cooperation with universities? A couple of words on the state standard. Now, you know that uh, during uh, we were not able to introduce a state standard during uh, this past year, but we realized that this is not the key problem because uh, our our Russian colleagues have had these standards for, standard for many years, but uh, they complain, keep complaining that this standard is not helpful. Uh, it, it does not help them to uh, train uh, tr uh, translators. Uh, in a, uh, at a better uh, quality level, but uh, it rather kills uh, cr uh, the creative approach. Uh, it's, uh, so this gift stays uh, in uh, Santa Claus's uh, sack, and it will stay there. there it will stay. We uh, have faced uh, um, two main challenges that uh, really got in the way, and uh, we weren't, weren't able to even identify them uh, at once. But at least now we know how they look, and we can uh, take steps to uh, resolve these issues. The first issue being the lack of motivation, uh, both uh, uh, in universities and uh, uh, the uh, those who are players in the industry uh, don't have this motivation as, as well. There are those who understand that we need changes, but there are also those who ignore uh, this challenge and they don't realize why they should uh, spend time and resu uh, other resources uh, on um, something that, uh, well, this, uh, this is true both for uh, universities and the industry. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the question is why they should spend uh, resources on changing so, uh, something. And the second issue is uh, that uh, universities do not have uh, complete information uh, on the uh, industry. Uh, and uh, the uh, problem is that some universities do not even uh, realize that there's a translation industry that uh, is made up of large-scale uh, companies, and this uh, industry d uh, is working and is an important player in this scene, uh, on this scene. And we have made a few steps to uh, uh, to eliminate this problem. We can uh, sub subdivide our activity into several steps. The uh, past year was mainly uh, dedicated to informing. Uh, as Tatiana has mentioned, we have a lot of uh, university professors and university staff uh, who do not know what is happening. And informing is the f a very important first step. Meaning that we have to give information to others and they have to uh, think upon it. The second step uh, is uh, realize, realizing that if we just simply uh, come to uh, the offices of the industry players and tell them, OK, we have a challenge, let's overcome it, uh, then uh, the uh, in, uh, those who work in the industry are not uh, really uh, influenced by that. They uh, don't want to do anything. The same is uh, true for about the university staff. They do not always realize that uh, we need to do something. We have to show them. Uh, 
the motivation that they have to have and the use for all key players uh, and if, in order to for them to start doing something instead of uh, limiting themselves to just uh, words. Why university uh, universities need them? Uh, we need that, and why we need universities uh, in in general? Uh, we need that uh, for training professionals. And if you do that, why do, why don't you do that uh, the way it, uh, it is needed today? This can be uh, very conventional, but the motivation is very strong. Another uh, incentive is a competitive advantage. Uh, today we have about 90 universities in uh, in Ukraine. These are 90 universities that train translators and interpreters. This is uh, a number which is greater than uh, all over Europe and the North, Amer North America together. Uh, only in Ukraine we have 90 universities that train translators. And uh, then we have to ask ourselves a question whether or not we need such a number of translators. But if we have these 90 universities today, uh, we, in order to uh, in order to attract students, in order to uh, enlist students, they have to offer advantages and then uh, perspective, uh, potential students will enter their universities and this is very strong motivation for them. Uh, why we, uh, why is specific, why do, would a specific teacher need that? Why a specific, would a specific professor who teaches, has taught uh, translation for many years has to, uh, which uh, would want to change something uh, in their, in terms of their methods in order to uh, be, uh, to be in line to comply with the, with today's business requirements. The, uh, of course, uh, if someone has uh, additional skills, uh, they become much more competitive than their colleagues. And secondly, the fact that they have uh, this knowledge uh, allows them to uh, become a full-fledged uh, industry player. Uh, this teacher will have the skills that will enable him to uh, them to work in the industry and to use this uh, knowledge in their, in their teaching work and to make additional money. Uh, why do you, uh, why would translation companies need that? For example, uh, translation resources uh, they uh, they will uh, they will get uh, imp they will be able to employ new resources uh, after providing after providing uh, inviting having invites and in interns for several years. We can uh, confidently say that if uh, uh, translation companies uh, invite interns and uh, give them helpful knowledge and uh, use their work. Uh, while trying to teach them in the same way, I'm, I, I'm sure that uh, the information about this company will uh, be spread, the word of this company will be spread very fast, and these uh, in, today's in, interns will will have a very high motivation to return to this company and to continue cooperating with it. Therefore, this is a very practical approach, and at the same time, we can be talking about social uh, responsibility. Unfortunately, we cannot say that uh, there's a high percentage of uh, companies in Ukraine who have a high level of uh, social responsibility. Uh, we cannot say that it does not exist at all because we as an industry we are growing and those companies emerging uh, now for the last year we have seen that a quite a big amount of the freelancer are, freelancers are ready to spend the time on uh, our project because we when we asked uh, that question we understood that the freelance answer is a person who have a great experience in a real uh, different situations with the different services in translation of different kinds of texts and uh, this experience they, they gain this experience and they are happy to share it uh, and they have that opportunity only in uh, the universities they receive that opportunity to see how grateful the students are and uh, any job uh, becomes routine uh, if we do not diversify that's why uh, this is one of 
the opportunities of this diversification process. And in order to use this experience that we have, uh, we can use it in other directions. For example, to come to the university and give a lecture or just to communicate with the students. You will be heard, you will be known. And coming back to all the stages that we mentioned first, the inf informing, uh, first of all, we are doing it during the different kinds of conferences, uh, for example, at UTIC. Uh, but the similar conferences has not that uh, wide amount of uh, university representatives. That's why uh, we uh, provide sometimes uh, our science conferences. We listed only the main conferences that have been held and we think that uh, the process finally had begun. Uh, we uh, were at the conferences in the, the universities and the aims were achieved and we uh, uh, co were concentrated on the aims, on the result and uh, unfortunately we did not uh, receive uh, the results in that amount of time and uh, the most important uh, point w for us was to have the roundtable discussions when we gathered uh, the university representatives or field representatives uh, for example in uh, Nikolaev or uh, Donetsk city uh, we uh, applied those roundtables and those representatives could develop their solutions that could become comfortable for them and for both sides and uh, which will be useful and which will help uh, in changing uh, in this or that field. And few words about the tools. So, uh, in which way we can cooperate, uh, the industry representatives can cooperate with each other. Uh, this can be uh, both practical uh, activities that could become more natural for industry representatives, uh, some practical assignments uh, which they can do by themselves with no university representatives. And uh, speaking about uh, the seminars and lectures, uh, they need uh, some special preparation that we have uh, in lectures, uh, for example, uh, the teacher in the, univers the university gave uh, some shared some practical experience, and uh, this uh, became quite uh, uh, useful work uh, and useful experience. Uh, the next tool is cooperation with the translation companies, with translation f firms, and that, uh, this practice uh, f is quite developed in uh, uh, each town because uh, the universities uh, send their students for practice because uh, the demands for practice uh, should be implemented and uh, it should not be like uh, uh, someone has enough practice and someone ha does not have and uh, and others uh, just glue their advertisements on the walls. Uh, that's why we uh, are trying to implement the one the same standard for uh, this uh, for gaining this experience uh, after the round table uh, we implemented this uh, practice for uh, for university teachers uh, more detailed uh, information will be given by Vitaly Vorobyov uh, about the, this is very interesting
interesting experience for us and I think that each company can spend two days of their work in order to give those, uh, to share those experience uh, that ca students can receive during the work. This is uh, the implement the, the practice when uh, when students can try themselves in practice try, uh, use uh, the information in real life we had the same experience uh, uh, with the teacher of uh, stroke academy uh, who uh, shared uh, his experience and uh, uh, all they started implementing the uh, translation technologies on the very early stages uh, and the development of uh, uh, how does the situation looks like today uh, some teachers who have uh, uh, the special qualifications uh, 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 not uh, always uh, they have uh, the concerns about uh, uh, translation industries. Uh, he, uh, he offers uh, for students to uh, devote their time to studying this topic, uh, to writing uh, the science projects, and, but uh, these works will be just laying on the bench, and uh, the students, the student will uh, remember about that only when when get old. Kitaras uh, Kiak is the representative of Kiev uh, University. He will be delivering his speech uh, later. Uh, uh, we worked together, and we discussed that topic on the Facebook and this is the uh, whole result of work it is the list of topics uh, uh, that uh, the university representative liked uh, and uh, students have the opportunity to choose those topics and work on them and I hope that next year we will be able to uh, see the result of their work. Uh, if you are interested, we you can also uh, contact us and write on this topic. We uh, are uh, regarding this topic and we see that in the world the situation is the same. That's why those initiatives uh, that are directed on uh, implementing some changes, they are not actively developing. For, we have uh, such projects, for example, uh, most, which most of us, uh, I hope, heard. For example, Optimal project is quite good uh, translation project. Uh, 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 and which can show the real uh, state of things which we have in European universities uh, because this the situation uh, to show what we do really need and what we have for now we developed uh, the list uh, and uh, uh, used it uh, we already have those lists and we dis will discuss it on the round, ta round table in a more detailed manner. Uh, uh, but those experiences uh, allow students to gain practice in universities uh, and to receive the practice to receive the practice that they have uh, in the European universities. For example, Gala Association that we were talking about yesterday uh, is the initiative uh, directed on cooperation uh, with the sphere, for example, future uh, 
and uh, we can invite such uh, translators and interpreters uh, who can uh, uh, teach uh, other, uh, who can teach students who can share their experience. And uh, the, uh, in ATA there is a program, uh, a multi-step program uh, promoting the translators and interpreters profession, starting uh, starting from high school and uh, ending in the universities. Uh, this is a very interesting program, and you can learn much more information at the program's website. The meaning that this activity, uh, the essence of this activity is that the universities have to, uh, should uh, cooperate with the industry, and uh, for us, uh, the essence is that we should cooperate, that we should uh, strengthen these ties, and uh, it's for the, with this purpose that we offer this uh, instrument, this tool, uh, a kind of uh, author, uh, our reaction, our, our idea, what we can uh, offer uh, in our turn to improve the situation. We have mentioned uh, this uh, platform many times that we plan to set up that we, that would be uh, the forum for uh, context between the universities and the industry. And we are happy to present this plat platform to you today. This uh, website uh, the house has been set up, and uh, this platform can be used uh, as a basis to uh, for such communication. We have uh, talked uh, on uh, uh, conscious choice of uh, universities, and today uh, we have a, a CEO of a translation company in uh, our in our room here, and uh, we can say that uh, this person has not only set up this company but also uh, is uh, working on it in it. And uh, this is so great, Metrician of M1 uh, translation company. Uh, he provided us technical support in setting up this platform, uh, for which we're really thankful. To him, we will uh, learn about the main units of this website, and we will get the we will present it uh, to you. We can, uh, as we can see, the first uh, step is a registration or a check uh, or uh, and uh, the uh, or login, and uh, this step uh, enables uh, companies and uh, practitioners and uh, universities to uh, register to lo uh, to sign up and to leave information on themselves in order to. Uh, make sure that other players in this field, uh, meaning the linguistic comp uh, LSPs and universities, have information where they uh, can uh, refer students for internships and uh, uh, vice versa. The companies that are ready to provide uh, to uh, to accept students as interns uh, can be uh, can be uh, can know where they can uh, where the uh, students can be referred. We also plan and. Uh, there's space for that, but uh, there's still not enough content here. We are planning to work with the, with the module, with the unit that will uh, bring together uh, training programs, courses, information on uh, internships for this uh, for students, and information for uh, those uh, translators uh, uh, and freelancers who are ready to take up mentorship. We know that uh, there are such, uh, such professionals in the field, and we want to also involve uh, professionals uh, who would be able to publish their consultations. Uh, as for uh, the student uh, resources, for the training resources, for the educational resources, uh, these uh, will include all materials, all webinars uh, that uh, may help those uh, who know something or uh, uh, vice versa, do not know anything and who, want, uh, who would want to improve their skills. Uh, there's a unit for uh, on the technology uh, on translation tools and technologies that will uh, bring together materials on uh, educational programs and uh, the cooperation between uh, uh, the developers of so software developers and universities because uh, very often universities not know anything on the uh, about the existence of special uh, software and that they can get uh, licenses uh, free licenses and this uh, same uh, unit will contain information on the courses that uh, may can help you uh, master these tools uh, without any external help. Uh, news uh, and uh, f the forum are standard elements because in some ways they are standard, in some ways they are unique. Uh, so far, uh, what ha what's happening in Ukraine and other countries, and, uh, that is that we, they do not have uh, these elements, uh, unlike our, pr uh, our platform, which has them and which offer them, offers them for, the, for your use. Another, uh, pr uh, another uh, uh, element as uh, aspect as the uh, 
setting up uh, a special bodies, special uh, structures in the universities that will be able to work with the industry, uh, because we know that uh, uh, the uh, industry is changing and uh, is, uh, uh, information is updated on a constant basis, and the uh, those who uh, work uh, in the in the industry will be able to inform universities what they can change and what they can improve and how they can uh, select a company that uh, for internships of their students and so on. Uh, last year, uh, we talked uh, talked about our plans, and today we're going to talk about plans as well. Next year, we will meet again and we will discuss what has uh, been achieved and what has not. So far, all our dreams have come true, and uh, we hope that uh, so it will continue. We will still will keep you informed. Unfortunately, even one year is not enough to make sure that uh, universities realize that the problem is there, that the uh, challenge exists, and uh, uh, and that the uh, the industry realizes that they have to take at least minimum steps to resolve this issue. Uh, in order to uh, to feel uh, the uh, the uh, to feel context uh, content, we invite all of you to uh, add content. We uh, encourage you to publish your materials, to uh, to subscribe to materials, to uh, sign your materials, and this will uh, uh, enter your name in history. We plan to involve more and more uh, participants. We want to expand the number of people, the network of those who are ready to cooperate with universities and uh, uh, in general to uh, express uh, uh, sympathy with their project, support with their project, because we are very nice indeed and we are easy to support. Uh, and uh, there's yet another step is that we inform ev everyone. But, uh, our first uh, actions are focused on helping those who are active, uh, meaning uh, we want to help those universities that realize that uh, something needs to be changed uh, and what they need is resources, what they need is uh, contacts with people who can help them to uh, facilitate the work on, uh, on uh, introducing changes. And as for the uh, expanding horizons, we plan to share our experience and uh, uh, when we talked uh, with the uh, attendees of the conference, uh, this conference and other conferences, including the global ones, uh, we realized that, that uh, what we had have been able to achieve throughout this uh, part of this uh, year is the, that we can say that our uh, success is uh, much uh, greater than the progress uh, of uh, other large scale companies and this is our advantage we are uh, quite flexible we plan to share our experience to uh, review the existing experience to uh, we plan to keep on uh, traveling to conferences to communicate with, uh, to talk with people who are active in this sphere across the world. We need to learn from others, and we need to keep the good things that we that we have. We uh, have grown. Uh, we have grown, and uh, this year we are uh, burning uh, the papers that contain our wishes, and we uh, hope uh, that this will come true. And uh, we officially congratulate all of you on the new coming on the new year that has started in Box Translator, and let's celebrate it. If you have any questions, we will be happy to answer them. You can think, you can take a minute to think them over, and so far we will see if we get any uh, questions from our online audience. There's an interesting question. Uh, Irina Alexeyeva, St. Petersburg. Can uh, can you tell tell us, uh, speaking about your universities or in or Ukraine in general, how many uh, how many uh, translators graduate and how many of them then will go to work in the industry? If you don't know the general situation, then uh, tell me about your universities. How many graduate and how many go to work in the industry? We know this uh, quite well, uh, but we did not include statistics on. 
this uh, on this uh, study into this presentation we uh, did uh, a study we asked uh, the uh, university graduates uh, those who graduated graduates maybe five years ago uh, they've been in the, I mean they've been in the industry for five years or so and we asked uh, where they are employed I will not re I cannot remember the exact figures right now but to the uh, in the approximately there are about 29 percent of uh, uh, former graduates who uh, were uh, are employed in translation companies, and about 600 of them uh, are freelancers. Uh, well, uh, the general total, the total number of uh, respondents was about 600, and uh, the, uh, as for the freelancers, uh, then the uh, well, if we ask, if we include freelancers as well, then the uh, overall number, overall percentage will be about 35 percent. This uh, shows uh, that uh, linguistic uh, that RSPs are the key um, employer and the uh, player play in this uh, in this uh, market. Uh, this, this is confirmed by the fact that uh, more than 50% of those who remain in the profession uh, can, uh, cooperate with uh, LSPs, not with uh, 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 larger companies, not with uh, non-linguistic those uh, companies that are not LSPs, but rather uh, LS, specifically LSPs. We do not expect to get these uh, uh, figures, but that's how it is. Another question is, why did you use these uh, cookies as a logo? Uh, in fact, uh, it's one of our motives to uh, train ready-made uh, uh, finished, so to say, finished products. And these uh, cookies are a finished product, and uh, they are well, uh, well cooked. And uh, that's probably one of the options for answers. Another option is that uh, uh, one of our uh, forms uh, is uh, round tables, and uh, uh, cookies are a very good addition to round table, and they help create the right environment. Good morning. Uh, I'm Galina. I'm a freelance translator. I, is it possible to, uh, intro to introduce a kind of uh, major uh, kind of specialization in universities uh, for those who are undergraduates, maybe med medicine or anything? And we could. Uh, and uh, is it possible to invite professionals for those students who want to uh, go deeper into this uh, specialization, uh, to major in this specialization, to make sure that uh, they uh, are able to uh, produce, uh, to translate, uh, to, gi to give an, uh, a correct, uh, in, uh, correct translation, an appropriate translation in terms of engineering, uh, or uh, is it uh, the? Uh, is it only uh, the, is it the only goal that you have to be fluent and uh, translate uh, well? And there's no there should be no specialization. Uh, specialization. Uh, this year has shown that everything is possible. The first uh, things that uh, a teacher te teacher told them uh, told us was uh, it's impossible to introduce this in the program and the, uh, in the curriculum. This is not uh, uh, this is not prescribed by the curriculum. But in fact, all these uh, things that we uh, suggest uh, be introduced. Uh, can be easily introduced in the standard uh, uh, curriculum. And we, tr we try to do so. We uh, try to uh, discuss uh, with the industry how we can uh, introduce specialization in universities uh, to make sure that those who are uh, who are focused on these, uh, in, uh, who work in this uh, in specific specialization uh, can consult uh, translators uh, in terms of the, the direction that they have to move in, at least, uh, at least that. As, a te as teachers, we do that uh, as part of we do that as part of uh, our classical curriculum. We try to introduce whatever we can, uh, even though technically uh, we uh, mainly we're mainly uh, we're more uh, the, uh, those who belong to the industry rather than the universities. Tec in technical terms, it's uh, absolutely practicable. There are no standards. No, uh, uh, there are no standards. There are no special. Uh, uh, special units, a uh, unit special block of uh, subjects that you can uh, select. Alexander Lick, I'm, uh, uh, as, as usual, I will comment and ask the question at the same time. As for the cookies, uh, we should uh, add uh, the uh, word taste to the word ready made, to the word finished product. Uh, this regards the cookies. As uh, uh, employers, you need to uh, have uh, both uh, a 
a well-trained specialist, but also a special a professional that you will want to employ. And the second question is uh, a kind of reflection of what I heard uh, from Oleg uh, at the end of Oleg's speech. And this uh, uh, combines well with what you say. Uh, there's an idea uh, that came up. Um, and um, the question of, was how many people stay in the profession. It might make sense uh, after the first year or the sophomore year, we can, we c you could screen, you could uh, s say uh, separate those who want to stay in the profession and those who want to, uh, who, who do not want. And they, uh, they say those people might want to uh, get some background knowledge and then uh, they, uh, they, would, they would want to return to the industry to become managers rather than translators. Uh, as full management of translation projects, uh, is, uh, this is something that we also plan, and uh, this is not Im implemented in Ukraine so far. Um, uh, Victoria Lubashenko, a, a freelancer translator, and what I, uh, what I want to say is that there's uh, a uh, quite a large number of people who uh, uh, in, uh, try to enter the profession without being professional linguists. Uh, they might be engineers or uh, physicians or IT uh, professionals, and I think your platform uh, would might open an additional uh, sphere for them uh, that might be online courses or uh, articles or consultations to make sure that uh, less uh, that the people uh, the people uh, face le uh, overcome the challenges they they face easy easier uh, because specialists uh, who have an experience in working in other uh, in other industries are also a source of information for uh, also a source uh, for uh, can also become translators and at the first uh, uh, at the early stage they also need to be uh, translators uh, to be trained as translators and uh, uh, indeed the unit that we are creating the module that we are creating creating is uh, designed for uh, uh, compiling the information with, uh, without uh, having to look for information uh, by, by bits and in bits and pieces. Uh, in, uh, uh, speaking about uh, uh, training, uh, in our company we uh, take a lot of, uh, we set up a lot of localiz uh, localizing, uh, we uh, provide lots of uh, localization services. They not so, uh, always have to do with translation, but those who graduated from universities as translators are uh, very valuable for us. And they do not only work as managers, we uh, teach them uh, how to work with uh, equipment with tools and they uh, operate such services as Nesco publishing they operate such uh, they operate uh, uh, online uh, documentation uh, um, tools and they uh, use all this in their work. Uh, we uh, keep uh, also keep working in coordination with uh, uh, our customers. We need uh, linguistic, we need language knowledge because when you work with content, with different type of content in different languages, uh, it's uh, wonderful when you know additional languages such as German or French and you can then help and uh, uh, as a result, we provide uh, more qualified services to our end uh, customers. And uh, it, might, uh, it might make sense to uh, also in include this part. Uh, but uh, translators uh, work uh, not all, all only work in, in the translation industry. Uh, uh, I'm uh, Alex company, uh, and, uh, and is uh, the company ready to uh, to uh, refer someone to, who can uh, lecture in a university and uh, uh, on localization and uh, uh, discuss the issues so that would be interesting for uh, potential food linguists and translators. Uh, our director general, our CEO, teaches uh, in the Lvov Polytechnical <laughs> University. This uh, course is named uh, uh, pro Software Project Management. In, and so far, we do not have that. Uh, we do not have lectures for translators. But we, uh, as for the people who are we, who we hire, we train them. We have uh, a very serious uh, training center, and I think we can talk 
with the people who are responsible for training in, in our company and to take a step forward to, st to meet their demands. On my part, I'm uh, I'm not uh, so me I'm, I didn't mind coming and uh, teaching because we need that you learn to be careful this is all being recorded and I'm not even afraid of uh, my words being recorded I want to repeat once again uh, it's not uh, on behalf of the company uh, or the C uh, uh, or myself as a CEO that I'm talking we can discuss that behind the scenes but uh, it's for me personally I can come and I can uh, get ready for that because I uh, used to teach my uh, s s employees to uh, uh, to manage uh, customer relations, and uh, I uh, have experience in uh, preparing the full course and uh, doing that uh, during a month. Uh, uh, we discussed uh, once uh, once a week. Uh, this means that uh, we can discuss that uh, in a year at the next theatre conference. We uh, will discuss the. Uh, a uh, uh, practice that Elena Rudeshko had uh, in uh, training translators uh, in translate uh, in the localization law. I would th I would say so. Uh, if we, if anyone have any other questions, uh, you're welcome. If we have no further questions, then we invite you to uh, our platform. Uh,